Yeah, that's an anchor. Or you can look like you don't have a it's part of my branding. I branded Vinny. Hashtag just saying. Yeah. Are you a brand that is looking to stand out and get exposure? Well, you're in for a treat because I'm here with my fedora friend, Vincenzo. Can you say your last name? Because I'm not good at this. Landino. 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 Okay. And okay, so. we are going to talk about three things that you as a business owner can do to stand out in your business. Let's go. Well, let's go. First things first hire brand ambassadors. What does that mean? Well, I've recently started working with Applebee's on some campaigns and they are hiring their own customers, people that are already in their stores uh. to actually advocate for them. So how are they paying them? Gift cards. Love it. It costs them nothing and it brings business into their store. And you kind of do something similar at your store, Yes, right? I love this because I have a store here on Cape Cod in Massachusetts called Subi Doo and I have four wonderful employees and I actually do something similar. I call them buzz agents because um, it's Subi Doo. And I have them actually Instagram pictures That's a great idea. on their account and when customers come in because they saw their picture, I give them commission on those sales. Ooh, yes. That's even better. So they get money, not just gift cards. <laughs> you know, the other tip is participating in Twitter chats. Now, Twitter chat sounds maybe a little scary, yeah. but it doesn't take much effort for a brand or any company to jump in and participate in their community. It may not necessarily be a Twitter chat, but jump into conversation that your customers are already having online. Right, so on Twitter. So let's talk to everyone and tell them what is a Twitter chat and how can they participate? So it's an aggregated conversation around a specific topic, usually using a hashtag and many people will gather virtually to talk about something there'll be questions from a host now I host my own Twitter chat weekly uh, with a, a live video component so it's a little bit different but I throw questions out to the audience and the audience answers the questions in return um, brands will jump in because they know their audience is already there yeah you, you know I've had the experience of being a guest on many different Twitter chats and it's crazy fun it's an hour of tweeting with a relevant ha the same hashtag so everybody can follow the conversation on Twitter and become part of that conversation and add value so I love how questions are being asked and you as the participator can jump in and give your answer and your opinion and be part of that absolutely so this is a, that is a great way to grow your Fantastic brand and get way. exposure absolutely the, the third and final way for, for today that we'll talk about is live streaming. And I know you, Sue, and your community are really, really big on Periscope. It's Love the hearts. It's a lot. Hearts. I, let's, make love a the heart. hearts. let's make a heart. Yeah. I love the hearts on Periscope. So live streaming is a way for brands and individuals to reinvest in the relationships that they've already built. Again, this goes back to relationships you have with current customers. Right. Uh, you're, you don't need to extend yourself to build new customers. You're building and are, or you're um, expanding upon the relationships you already have. have. So right. live streaming is allowing people to see you, see your personality. Right. You know, and Sue's personality is so bubbly and she's jumping all over the place and, and she's yeah. talking and, she, and, you know, there's hearts flying and people are having conversation. And so live stream has given us an opportunity to uh, go behind the scenes into a little bit of a deeper uh, you know, aspect of your workspace. Right. I love that. I love that. And to your point, pulling people over from where they already know you and coming on your live stream and getting to know you better is awesome. And then separately, people stumbling upon your Periscope because it was shared on Twitter and hopping on because you've used relevant hashtags yeah. and keywords that they want to listen to the conversation in. So yes, I love Periscope and I am at Subi Zimmerman on Periscope. What are you on Periscope? I am at Vincenzo Landino, V-I-N-C-E-N-Z-O-L-A-N-D-I-N-O. -E so I just spelled it for you. Yay. Uh, the other great thing yeah. about live streaming is that there's new mo these mobile apps now. Everybody has a phone so you can reach your customers in a place where you weren't able to get to before and everybody has their phones on them. Right. I mean, 
I, we were out today right. getting lobster rolls in the Cape, and we all had our phones out. Right. And everybody else did too. So you're able to reach your customers, reach your audience in a place where you wouldn't have been able to do that before. Perfect. Well, these are just three of many different ways that you can stand out and get more exposure online. Vinny, tell them where everyone can find you and connect with you. You can find me on my website, VincenzoLandino.com or Twitter, at VincenzoLandino. I recently released a course, streamin15.com, for, so, for those of you interested in getting involved. Oh, yeah, it's, it's yeah isn't it? Stream, stream, hashtag stream in stream in 15, 15. 15. Um, Check that out. If you're yes. interested in, in, in using live streaming apps to to uh, get a hold of your audience or, or even just to get on there and to use, understand how to, to use it, using it, you definitely want to grab check that out the course. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. It's great oh, to have you thank here. You, I hope you all learned something from Vinny. I certainly did. Please leave a comment below. Let us know what your favorite tip was, or if you have another tip on how to stand out and get more exposure, let us know. And as always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel because. I share some Insta awesome stuff. Yeah. Business tips, mostly Instagram marketing, but we want you to come back for the next video. See ya.